Ramadan is a month of mercy. It is a time to get closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And we have the opportunity to get our sins forgiven through the simplest of good acts and deeds. The first Ashra of Ramadan is also known as Days of Mercy. The first 10 days of Ramadan are the best time for seeking this mercy as the Prophet وسلم, said and it is a month the first part of which is mercy the second part of which is forgiveness and the last part of which is freedom from the hellfire the first tip make dua at iftar time the Prophet وسلم, said Whatever is prayed for at the time of breaking the fast is granted and never refused. When we sit down to iftar, we must take the time to seek Allah's mercy and forgiveness before breaking our fast. Allah knows we are hungry, but this is the best time to do dua. Make sure you supplicate using the names Ar-Rahman, the most compassionate, and Ar-Rahim, the most merciful. Tip number two, make dua for others to receive mercy. We should also pray for mercy and guidance for our loved ones during the first 10 days. This will allow both us and them to benefit from the blessings of this month. The Messenger of Allah وسلم, said, There is no Muslim servant who supplicates for his brothers behind his back, but that the angels say, And for you the same. Ameen. Subhanallah. Third tip, keeping good relations with your family. During the first 10 days, take the time to visit or call family members who you don't often speak to and make sure you seek forgiveness from anyone you've had a falling out with. It is important for you to take the first step towards building bridges as being close with your relatives will bring you closer to Allah. The Messenger of Allah وسلم, said, The merciful are shown mercy by Ar-Rahman. Be merciful on the earth and you will be shown mercy from who is above the heavens. The womb is named after Ar-Rahman. So whoever connects it, Allah connects him. And whoever severs it, Allah severs him. Fourth tip, increase your dhikr. This dhikr is really easy way to seek Allah's mercy. After every salah, recite Subhanallah wa bihamdihi 20 times. This will make it 100 times a day. Reciting this simple dhikr will obliterate your sins, even if they are as much as the foam of the ocean. Dhikr in general is a good way to draw closer to Allah in Ramadan. As he says in the noble Quran, So remember me and I will remember you. Surah number 2, verse number 152. Fifth tip, encourage family to pray at night. Many of us are exhausted by fasting during Ramadan and it can be difficult to motivate ourselves to wake up at night to pray and worship. However, encouraging our family to worship at night is an important part of seeking Allah's mercy and it can help us get motivated too. The Messenger of Allah وسلم, said, May Allah have mercy on a man who gets up at night and prays. Then he wakes his wife and she prays. And if she refuses, he sprinkles water in her face. And may Allah have mercy on a woman who gets up at night and prays. 
Then she wakes up her husband and prays, and if he refuses, she sprinkles water in his face. Spread the mercy of Ramadan by encouraging your family and others to worship at night. Sixth tip, recite these duas for mercy. Here are a few duas you should be reciting to seek Allah's mercy in the first 10 days. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Rabbi ghafir warham wa anta khairur rahimin. And O Prophet say, My Lord, forgive and have mercy and you are the best of the merciful. Ayah from Quran Surah number 23 Ayah number 118 Allahumma inni as'aluka bi rahmatika allati wasiyat kulla shayin an taghfir li O Allah I ask you by your mercy which envelops all things that you forgive me Allahumma ghfir li warhamni walhikni bir rafiqil ala Aisha radiallahu anhu said I heard the messenger of Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam saying at his death O oh Allah forgive me and have mercy on me and join me with the highest company Subhanallah 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 Seventh and the last tip, show mercy to others. While seeking Allah's mercy, it is important to remember that the Messenger of Allah وسلم, said, Whoever does not show mercy to the people, Allah will not show mercy to him. This means that showing mercy to others is an essential part of seeking Allah's mercy. Any kind, act or gesture, without it, you may miss out on the blessings of the first 10 days. Mercy can mean talking kindly to others, offering people your seat on the bus when you're fasting, and of course, giving sadaqah to those in need out of the mercy of your heart. Remember, the Prophet ﷺ said, Ramadan is the month of my ummah. As you spread mercy, hope, and relief, to our brothers and sisters, we pray that Allah showers you with mercy, hope, and relief. Amen. Please do subscribe to my channel and don't forget to click the bell icon for notification of new videos. Please do like, share, and comment. Thank you. Jazakallah khair.